Welcome. I'm Father Ed Wagner from St. Mark's in Chesley, and this is the second of our Lent 2021 altar chats. They have to do with keeping a rule of life as a Christian. We begin with prayer. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, you hate nothing you have made, and you forgive the sins of those who are penitent. Create and make in us new and contrite hearts that we, worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, may obtain from you, the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, O Savior of the world, for by your cross and precious blood you redeem the world. A rule of life, a way of doing and being a Christian in our earthly life. It has ancient roots. The one that I follow and that I recommend to you is one that I learned in my confirmation years when I was a tween. It has five parts and it is from the 1962 Anglican Book of Common Prayer. I've modified it over the years, ecumenically, and in language, something more appropriate, I feel, for this day, to, day, day and age. The five parts of the rule of life are these. They're in the form of questions. Do I regularly attend public worship especially the Holy Communion. A second, do I practice a private routine of prayer, Bible reading, and self-discipline? A third question, do I bring the teaching and example of Christ into my everyday living? A fourth question, is my spoken witness to my faith merely timid? And a fifth question, am I generous in volunteering my time, my talent, my treasure, both within the church and in the wider community? Now, each of those questions just begs for us to look deeper, which is the point. They are also questions that lead us to be and do in this world as we continue to come to know Christ, Jesus, God, Holy Spirit. as we come to know him in our continuing journey with him. Today, I want to look at the third question. Do I bring the teaching and example of Christ into my everyday living? Which is popularly now, what would Jesus do? ask, what would Jesus do in every situation? And notice, first of all, it's what would Jesus do, not what would Jesus say. T 
Talk is cheap. Action is what really counts. The imitation of Christ, as I said, is ancient. Probably right from the very beginning, when Jesus says to his disciples, come, follow me, he's of course not just saying, walk with me. He's saying, be as I am. What would Jesus then do? Think of the Lord's summary of the law, as it's formally known. But it's Jesus as he summarizes those Ten Commandments and all the other commandments that follow it. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. That's the first. The second is love your neighbor as yourself. Notice that love is an action on both sides, neighbor and God. Love the Lord. Do it. God. Love God with all your heart, your emotion, your feelings, soul, that part of you that is divine, holy, a gift of God, heart, soul, mind, obviously how you think. Heart, soul, mind, and strength. This is not something, this relationship, to be weak about. It's real, it's powerful. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. And love your neighbor as yourself. And please don't get caught up in loving your neighbor as yourself. We can get stuck on that in our selfishness. This is about loving neighbor as much and in the same way that we love ourselves. So here we have it. What would Jesus do? Love God with all one's heart, soul, mind, and strength, and love one's neighbor as oneself. That second, love one's neighbor as oneself, is best seen in Jesus' action on Maundy Thursday. He kneels in front of his friends like the lowliest servant of all and washes their feet. It's so lowly an action that Peter is offended. Do you remember? You won't do that to me, he says. You can't wash my feet, Jesus. And Jesus retorts, if you won't let me wash your feet, then you're not part of my kingdom. So what would Jesus do? How do I bring the teaching and example of Christ into my everyday living? Do what Jesus would do. Love God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Love your neighbor as yourself. Think on these things, and we'll talk next time.